When it's cold, like today, what's the first thing you do? You put the heating on. But the boilers so many of us have are outdated, and they rely on us having a supply of natural gas coming into our homes. As we move away from fossil fuels, we'll have to find new ways of keeping warm. Or maybe we can learn from old ways. In the 1950s, this magnificent coal-fired power station started doing something that's revolutionized the way we keep our homes warm. Coal-fired power stations generate electricity, but they're only about 40% efficient. This means most of the energy is wasted as heat. What this power station started doing just after World War II was capturing that waste heat and piping it across the river to a housing estate in Pimlico. This is the UK's first district heating scheme. Battersea Power Station closed in the 80s, but the district heating stayed. So, where did the heat supply come from? A coal-fired boiler was installed here in Pimlico. As coal went out of fashion, this was converted to gas and became a combined heat and power engine. Engines which now crisscross the UK, generating electricity and recovering the waste heat. This is used to heat up cold water, which is then dissipated around a network of pipes. And heat is dissipated in the right places, like your living room, and the cold return goes back to the plant to be reheated and the process is repeated again. This lets us heat up the homes of over 3,000 people in Pimlico as well as schools and businesses. But what if the heat demand isn't high enough? What do we do with the excess heat that's being generated? Well, we can store that in a thermal store. This is like a giant thermos flask and Pimlico has the biggest one in the country. It can hold 2.3 million litres of boiling water. That's enough to make 9.7 million cups of tea. There are now 17,000 district heating networks in the UK, supplying heat to about half a million homes. This is projected to grow to 20% of all households by 2030. And the great thing about this technology is, if your heating's communal, as long as you've got those pipes in place, you can connect any heat source onto the other end. So that could be waste heat from a power station, it could be heat from burning rubbish, it could be a biomass or a biogas boiler, it could be solar arrays, ground source heat pumps, or whatever the technology of the future of heating is. Battersea Power Station is now being turned into luxury flats but this whole area still needs heating. So, funnily enough, one of the first buildings to go up on the site of the old power station is going to be a new power station.